Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day and hopefully with the info that I'm going to share with you it will get even better. And basically the info is how can we use Microsoft Office 365 for free which is something really simple and we will go through on the official Microsoft website. Now before we do if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your computer and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with coupon code that you can see on screen it will get even cheaper. Now that being said let's go straight for this video which will be short and concise. I'm going to share with you the steps that you will need to do and for those that never been on the Office 365 dashboard just a few ideas and there you go you will be on your own to try it out. So first step let's go to our favorite browser and let's put in www.office.com Com. Now we will be on the official Microsoft website and right there we will create a 3365 account. There are several options. We are going to select this one which is the free account. We just need to select the email that we want and we will need to choose a password. Once we complete that there will be a few verification puzzles which is normal and in about one minute we will be on the dashboard. Now if you have used Microsoft 365 dashboard in the past you know your way around so you can start and using it. If not I'm just going to share with you a few details here and there. Now on the dashboard we have access to a shortcut to the options and to the apps that we will have available and if we click on the see more button it will show all the apps that we have access on that particular tab. Now we also have the option to create a document directly in Word, Excel, Forms, PowerPoint, it can be blank or we can use a template and there are a lot to choose from so you will need to dig in and try it for yourself. There is also the content option which is basically our folder online, what we will be saving on our cloud space which on the free account it's limited to 5 gigabytes while premium users have one terabyte. But if we need more storage space and we don't need to go premium, there is the option to upgrade only the space. So you will need to make this calculation. In my opinion, honestly, if I need more space, I can just save the documents on my computer and then when I need to work them, I can work online with the Microsoft 365, whatever I decide to use. Now, there is also a tab which um, shows us the apps arranged in a different manner. And if we are on Calendar or on Outlook, we will have more or less the same appearance with the option to choose the apps. So for those that never been on the Office 365 online, you will not miss the Word, Excel, PowerPoint because they will appear in different manners as we just seen right over here. Now, biggest differences that I did find was on the storage that we have seen. A free user will have five gigabytes while a premium user will have one terabyte available of online cloud storage to save our documents. Now, the other difference is that the free users will not be able to use the desktop apps while the premium users will be able to do so. And those apps are the ones that we install on our PC, on our Mac, or even on our mobile devices. So free users will only be able to use the apps on the online platform on the dashboard that we have just seen. Now you might ask, hey Robert, is there any difference between the desktop apps and the online dashboard? Of course, the Excel, PowerPoint on the online dashboard and those apps on the desktop. And there are quite a few differences, not many. And I would say that for the regular user, you will not notice any difference. But if you are a advanced user, then probably you might find missing a feature here and there, but those are cases that are not the broad audience. So for the majority of the users that want to use Excel, PowerPoint, Word in a normal fashion, then you will see no differences at all. And I do believe that this is just awesome from Microsoft to be able to give to 
the users the option to use the complete suit for free and hopefully this video was helpful in some way if not for you for a friend of yours or a familiar and if that was the case don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerta George and as always I'll see you on the next one